So tell me your name. Uh, Rob Staskel. And you Mucked work. Up Studios. Right. <laughs> and you work on. What do you work? What is this made of? This is. Uh, this is a culmination of about seven or eight years of figuring it out. I, I've always been a maker and a builder, and I got into wood. I've always been working with metal. I got into uh, woodwork probably about eight years ago, nine years ago, and it wasn't enough. So I got a little bit of welding, and it's kind of my pa I mean, it's, it saved my life. <laughs> I love this stuff. But yeah, it's just a conglomeration of all different ideas and, you know, pulling all the darkness out of my head. I've only seen one other artist that did anything vaguely similar to this. Really? And it was at a street fair in Hoboken. And uh, you are infinitely more complicated. Thank you. Well, I, you know, all the old biomechanical, the Geiger stuff. You know, now, is uh, this carving or no, is... No, that's just a found piece of wood. That's a knot. That's a knot. That's the beginning of a branch from a tree. And I think a unicorn horn isn't this spirally beautiful thing. I think in nature, a real unicorn horn. And that was found in 1666. Oh, wow. You even put where it's found. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. So a little wow. bit of history on that one. Wow. A little bit of magical history. Made up. And, and some of my weirder drawings and paintings and... Uh, Metal dragons. <laughs> You're a multi-dimensional artist. I'm a learner. I like to learn. I like to acquire skills and you know get the best I can. What is the hardest? Is it dealing with wood or dealing with metal? I don't think anything's really. For me, I couldn't say it, one thing's the hardest or not. Uh, that's pretty subjective. I would say for me. The most difficult process is the assembly stuff, like the bigger assembly stuff, like the guns, because I'm there's so many different products. Like this is relatively easy because it's just glue and carving, but stuff like this, I'm welding different metals to, I'm welding stainless to pot metal to, but then I have to solder in there. This skill-wise, this kind of stuff is definitely the most difficult. When it comes to the I know what you're talking about. I once bought a book on welding. I didn't know there were 2,000 different ways and combinations of welding. Well, you, Fantastic. Know, you know what I weld with? I am not a structural welder. I grew up building bikes. My dad and I you know, built a couple bikes and cars. Um, I bought a cheap uh, tractor supply, 120 volt MIG welder, and just learned and just started. And for me, I'm a process guy. It's the process. It's that learning process. You it's screwing your, stuff up, breaking things. Are you able to earn a living at this, or is it? I don't. Hobby? I don't have to. I, I, I hopefully one day I want to get into doing like commission pieces, larger rustic furniture. Oh, you want wow. six foot metal flowers and you know sunflowers in the front yard? Call me. I'll do it for you. Um, but right, I own a heating and air conditioning business so during the day. Um, so this is the, really just a hobby. This is my first time out vending at this level, oh, wow. other than like local farm stands. So I'm really grateful to be here. It's really exciting. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yesterday. Oh, you know, yeah, because you know I collect miniatures yeah. for, for my dollhouse. Isn't that cool? Yeah. I admired it. And yeah. I how much it was. And she needed it. 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 Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Thank you for your and interest. Do you have Mur Murdoch Muck Duck. Studio? Muck Duck. And M U K D U K. And we're on Instagram. You're on Instagram. Yep. 